Hello, I hope you're all well and had a lovely week and welcome to another six round pub quiz. If it is your first time here, then welcome to my channel. It's a really easy game to play. Uh, all I say, if you do want to play along and keep track of your score, as many people do, uh, probably get yourself a pen and paper. Just going to make life a lot easier. So we'll begin the quiz by revealing the answer to last week's tiebreaker. The question was, how much of the Earth's atmosphere is made from nitrogen? And there's some really good guesses as well. And lots and lots of people got it. The answer is, when it gets there, 78%. Very, very good if you got that number or close to it. And it did make a difference to this week's leaderboard. So we'll move on to this week's leaderboard. We'll start by revealing all the single players, everybody who finished between 4th and 10th. And there's the list. 14,653 players. So very, very good job if you made it onto that board. Difficult to do so. Some really good scores. Now we'll look at the individual who finished third this week. So well done to Susan with a brilliant 59. Excellent quizzing. Well done, Susan. Really impressive. And joint first this week is DomQuest and Jess also with 59. Well done to you both. Uh, just beating Susan on the tie break, but very, very close indeed. So uh, well done to you all. A big thank you to all the single players who played, liked, shared and commented on the video. So we'll move on to the teams. This is everyone who finished between 7th and 12th. I'll explain more in a bit. Well done to you also. Again, really, really good scores. Very impressive. And this week in third place, a four-way tie. I think that's the first time this ever happens. And well done to you four teams. Really good. So Holly and Jason, Robert and Heather, Michelle Quizage, love the name, Wiggy's Weasels, all with 64. Excellent job. Well done to you all. And this week it is joint first place. Two teams, so Andy, Rob and Brian, well done. And the second team is the Blair family, both with 65. Excellent quizzing, well done to you. Uh, and well done to everybody. And again, a massive thank you to all the teams who played, liked, shared and commented on the video. Really is appreciated. So two things before we get started. Firstly, I'd like to wish Paul a very happy birthday from Team Possum Bear. I know it was on Wednesday. I hope you had a great day and, and are still celebrating. I hope the celebrations go on all weekends and you have lots of fun. Happy birthday to you. Uh, also, I had a message from Gina who would like to give a shout out to her husband, Joe, uh, for being supportive during her recent med medical tests. Now, uh, when you can be there for someone, uh, particularly one that you love during difficult times, it makes a huge difference to their lives. So um, thank you for being you, Joe, and all that you do and have done uh, it's obviously very appreciated. I hope you're doing well, Gina, and I wish you both the very, very best. Take care. So moving on to this week's quiz. There are six rounds. Round one is a picture round. Round two is an entertainment round. Round three this week, the double points round, is a Disney round. Round four, as always, is the connections round. Round five is a languages round. And the final round is a general knowledge round. I will give you answers after round two, after round four, and after round six. And this week, round three and four are very, very tricky. So I do hope you enjoy and best of luck. So round one is a picture round. There are 10 pictures of famous people, places, etc. And you have around 14 seconds for each. Number one, can you name this TV or movie star? Number two, who is this from the world of music? Number three, name the sports star. Nice easy one this week. Number four, who is this a picture of from when they were young? Uh, the clue is they're British. Number five, which company has this logo? Number six, which well-known person have I warped?
Number 7. Can you get the song title from this animation? Number eight, uh, name the country from this flag. There's a clue, it's in the Caribbean. And number nine, name the film. And the last one, number 10, what is this a close-up of? Okay, round two is the entertainment round. There are 10 questions. You have around 15 seconds for each. Good luck. Number one, who was the lead singer in the band Blondie? Number two, which famous actor insisted on receiving a unique purple lightsaber for his role in the Star Wars prequels from 1999 to 2005? Number three, you light the skies up above me, a star so bright you blind me, yeah, yeah. Don't close your eyes, don't fade away, don't fade away the opening lyrics to which 2006 song and I completely butchered it I apologize number four can you name these cartoon characters uh, you do need both but I, I think if you get one you'll you'll definitely get the other Number five, in how many films has Daniel Craig played James Bond? Number six, who released the 2017 hit song, Shape of You? Number seven, which film production company's logo features a Pegasus either stationary or flying across the screen? And number eight, Time Warp is a song from which musical? And number nine, what was the first game played in the hit Netflix series Squid Game? Was it Red Light, Green Light or Sugar Honeycombs? And the last one, number 10, which actor made their film debut in the horror film A Nightmare on Elm Street? Was it Nicolas Cage or Johnny Depp? Okay, that's the end of the first two rounds. I do hope you're having fun so far. If you are enjoying it, please take 10 seconds to just click that like button. I've noticed as time's gone on, it really makes a difference to how the video is promoted. So it'd be really, really appreciated. Anyway, I will now move on to the answers for the first two rounds and round three and four will follow immediately after. Okay, the answers for round one, the picture round. This TV or movie star is Hugh Laurie. 
Number two from the world of music. That is Brian May. And number three, a nice easy one for the sports star. David Beckham. And number four, this picture from when they were young. It's Theresa May. Number five, did you get the company? The answer is Target. And number six, which well-known person did I warp? Gordon Ramsay. And number seven, did you get the oh, did you get the song title? House of the Rising Sun uh, by the Animals. Number seven, tricky one for the flag this week. Very good job. If you said the Bahamas. And number nine, uh, the film. A good film. I enjoyed this one. It's a V for Vendetta. And the last one, the close-up. It's a close-up of a tennis ball. So the answers for round two, the entertainment round. Who was the lead singer of the band Blondie? Debbie Harry. And number two, which famous actor insisted on receiving a purple lightsaber for his role in the Star Wars films? Well done if you said Samuel L. Jackson. Number three, you light the skies up above me, a star so bright you blind me. Don't close your eyes, don't fade away. The opening lyrics to Rule the World by Take That. Number four, did you, did you get the cartoon characters? So if you got one, you definitely got the other. It's Pinky and the Brain. Number five, in how many films has Daniel Craig played James Bond? A total of five times. Number six, uh, Shape of You was a 2017 hit song for Ed Sheeran. Number seven, which film production company's logo features a Pegasus flying across the screen? Well done if you said TriStar. Number eight, Time Warp is a song from which musical? It's from The Rocky Horror Show. Number nine, what was the first game played in uh, the Netflix series Squid Game? Red Light, Green Light. And the last one, number 10. Who made their um, debut in the horror film A Nightmare on Elm Street? Well done if you said Johnny Depp. Okay, round three is a Disney round. This is a round where there are two points available per question, so 20 points up for grabs, the way the round will work. You're gonna see the picture of a character in the middle of your screen. Uh, it'll be from a Disney film or from a company that Disney have acquired, so Star Wars, Marvel, etc. To get your first point, you just need to tell me which film or film series that that character is from. Now that's the easy bit. The second bit is actually quite tricky. For your second point, you have to tell me which actor or actress provided the voice with the character that you see on your screen. It's not easy. Some of them are easy, but a lot of them are very, very tricky. So uh, I wish you the best of it and I hope you enjoy. Good luck.
Okay, round four, as always, is the connections round. The way this round works, there are four questions. You'll get one point for every correct answer that you give, and then something links the answers to those four questions. If you can find the link connection, you'll get another point. So there are five points in total in this round. Good luck with the connection. Okay, so the answers for round three, the Disney rounds. This is a character from the film, Aladdin. And the, it's the genie. The voice was provided by Robin Williams. So a point if you said Aladdin and a point if you said Robin Williams. Number two, the film is, of course, The Lion King. And Zazu, the, the voice was provided by Rowan Atkinson. Well done if you got that one. Number three, a nice easy one film is Frozen, voiced by Adina Menzel. And number four, everybody got this one. The film is Star Wars, the film series, sorry, Star Wars. And the voice was provided by James Earl Jones. Well done if you got that. Number five, number five, the film is Moana. Can't remember the character's name, but it was voiced by Dwayne Johnson or The Rock. Number six. Number six is Finding Nemo or Finding Dory. Either will do. And Dory was voiced by Ellen DeGeneres. Number seven is the film series Ice Age. And Manny is a character who's voiced by Ray Romano. Number eight, really good job if you got this one. Uh, the film is Beauty and the Beast, and it's Mrs. Potts, voiced by Angela Lansbury. Very, very good if you got that one. And number nine, another tricky one. Even the film's tricky on this. The film is Hercules. Uh, the character is Phil, and voiced by Danny DeVito. Again, very good if you got that one. And the last one, number ten is Guardians of the Galaxy, and I am Groot. That's all he says, uh, voiced by Vin Diesel. Another tough one, so really good if you got that. Okay, so the answers for round four, the connections round. Number one, which two word name is given to the national flag of the United Kingdom? It's the Union Jack. Number two, which three word phrase is used by tennis players and officials to indicate that the final point of a match has been played? Game, set, match. Number three, which two-word term is given to a person who forms a relationship with another purely to extract money is gold digger. And the last one, number four, spare, turkey and split are words from bowling. 
So, did you find the connection from Union, Match, Gold and Bowling? Very, very well done. If you said strike, uh, Union's go on strike, you can strike a match, you can strike gold if you're lucky, and if you're very good, you can get a strike in bowling. Okay, that's the end of round four. A couple of tricky rounds, a few very, very difficult questions. So I hope you're having fun. The score is a secondary thing, but I do hope you're scoring well. So we're now going to round five and six. The answers will follow immediately after, and there is a tiebreaker at the end, unlike one I've ever done before, completely different. So watch out for that. Okay, round five is the language round. The way this round will work, you will see a word in the middle of your screen and above it, you will see which language it is from. Um, all you have to do for the point is tell me what that word means. Uh, but don't panic, it is multiple choice. There are three at the bottom to choose from and I've given you 15 seconds for each one. And I'll say they're 10 in total and every single one is a different language. So um, best of luck. Okay, round six, the final round is the general knowledge round. There are 10 questions and you'll have 15 seconds for each. Number one, a murder is a collective name for a group of which birds? Number two, name any year during the lifetime of the explorer James Cook. Number three, what is the former name of the city Beijing? Number four, 
Number four, by area, what is the largest continent on Earth? Number five, Microsoft was founded in which year? And you can be uh, two years above or below with your guess. Number six, 371 days is the equivalent to how many weeks? Get your fingers out quickly. Number seven, which artist painted the Night Watch? Number eight, the Pittsburgh Penguins play which sport? Number nine, babies have more bones than adults. True or false? I see I put that adults, it should say than adults, sorry. And the last one, number 10. There are three African countries that begin with the letter T. Tanzania and Tunisia are two, name the third. Okay, so the answers for round five, the language round. Number one, chambre à coucher is the French word for bedroom. And if I butcher the pronunciations, I do apologise. Number two, the Spanish word gato is cat. Number three, the German word guten tag means good day. Number four, the Italian word arriconi is orange. Number five, Japanese arigato means thank you. Number six, the Dutch word moi is beautiful. Number seven, the Hindi word nadi means river. Number eight, Afrikaans, jean, means no. And number uh, nine, Chinese, ni hao, is hello. And the last one, uh, number 10, Portuguese, por favor, is please. Well done if you got most of those. So the answers for round six, a murder is a collective name for which group of birds? It's crows. Number two, name any year during the lifetime of the explorer James Cook. Tricky one, this one, very good job. If you said anywhere between 1728 to 1779. Number three, what is a former name of the city Beijing? There are two possible answers. If you said Peking or Beiping, give yourself the points. Number four, by area, what is the largest continent on Earth? That is Asia. Number five, Microsoft was founded in which year? You could be two years above or below with your guess. So 1975 was the year. So anywhere between 73 to 77 for the point. Number six, 371 days is equivalent to how many weeks? Good job if you got there in time, 53. Number seven, which artist painted the Night Watch? That was Rembrandt. Number eight, the Pittsburgh Penguins play which sport? They play ice hockey. 
And number nine, babies have more bones than adults. Sorry, true or false? It is true. They uh, Babies are born with about 300, adults have 206. And the last one, number 10, there are three African countries that begin with the letter T, Tanzania, Tunisia, and Togo. Well done if you got that. Okay, now for this week's tiebreaker. Remember, when you add your score, please add your tiebreaker guess. It could make all the difference on the leaderboard. And like I said, this week's tiebreaker is a little bit different. So I may do this just as a one-off. We'll see how it goes. The question this week, uh, I am going to a pub quiz tonight. How many points will my team score out of 60? So how many points will my team score out of 60? Uh, I'll give you a little bit of more information. Uh, there are only 55 questions given in the quiz. And the final round is called the wipeout round. If we get all 10, we get given an extra five bonus points. So that's how you hit hit your 60 not that we've ever got 60 before and also uh, usually we're a team of six we are only a team of three tonight uh, also what i will do is uh, i've got a facebook page i've nearly finished i will next week it'll be live and i'll post that quiz on that facebook page for anybody who wants to join in and then you can have a go at the quiz that we played so anyway, i'll move on for the tiebreaker question how many points will my team score out of 60 tonight Good luck with your guess. Okay, that's the end of the quiz. Thank you for taking the time to play. As always, it really is appreciated. I hope you had fun. If you did enjoy it, please remember to click that like button. And if you haven't yet, please subscribe and you won't miss any future videos. So uh, let me know how you fared in the comments. I'm always interested to read them. Thank you again for playing and have a lovely weekend. See you next week.